The lamp is put on the lampstand where it shines, giving light to all those in the house. These words from Matthew's Gospel apply very, very well to Saint Bede. He is recognised and acclaimed as a doctor of the church, so an outstanding teacher of the Christian faith. And so far, he is the only doctor of the church to be born in the UK. And he's also acclaimed as the father of church history. He wasn't by any means the first one to write about church history or Christian history, but he was the first one to do it in an almost scientific model and very detailed. So Bede was born in the, in the 670s in the kingdom of Northumbria, in the area which is now Tyne Weir. From an early age, he was accepted in a monastery, in a Benedictine monastery, and he was in the care of the abbot there. Bede spent most of his life in the monastery where he grew up and in its twin monastery. These were at Jarrow and the other one at Monk Wearmouth. They were the monasteries of St Paul's and of St Peter's. It reflects the fact that Bede becoming a Benedictine monk took a vow of stability, to remain in a place settled and to carry on the work of the Lord there. As a doctor of the church, he didn't get that title for just being a monk or just being holy. He composed about 30 books as commentaries on individual books of the Bible. He wrote the ecclesiastical history of the English people and he composed works of prose which sadly do not survive, poetry and also one of his last works, his very last work, was an English translation of John's Gospel which does not unfortunately survive today. However, his commentaries on the scriptures and the history of the English people and bits of his poetry are still available today and still used by preachers. He died on Ascension Day and he died saying his favourite prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This is a prayer the monks would know very well, because it comes at the end of each of the Psalms that they say daily. Up until the last moments of his life, Bede was praying and working on his books and his teaching. The relics were later transferred to Durham Cathedral 1,000 years ago in 1020 and remarkably they survived the English Reformation so if you go to Durham Cathedral you can still venerate his tomb. What Bede tells us about the Christian life although we are not monks we are not enclosed in the monastery we are not taking a vow of stability we can focus on certain things like him, on learning about our faith, on studying the scriptures as he did, and on regular prayer. Those are three things that we can have in common with Bede. Prayer, learning about the faith, studying of the scriptures. And so our light too will shine for everyone in the household of faith, as the Gospel asks us to do.